Hey, so what's going on guys? Back here with Drug Reviews. Welcome back to another video. So you can see I'm actually in the Cifero right now because I want to give you guys an update on what has been done to the car because I've been holding off actually doing this video because I want to test everything out and make sure everything was working fine. But so far, so good. Uh, touch wood, everything has been working as it should. So now it's time to give you guys uh, an update of what I've done. So what I've fixed, more like that. So I have actually done the aircon. So you can see right here, I do have some aircon switches. Yes, there's supposed to be a panel here. It's still covered with duct tape, but uh, this will be replaced uh, in the future. But I've decided to remove the digital aircon controls and go with some analog ones, something like this and rewire the whole system. It's because the digital cluster itself Number one, it is high maintenance because it costs a lot and it's pre getting pretty hard to find. So I decided to just uh, replace the compressor to a one that can support the new gas because the previous one they were using was from the RB25 Neo. Uh, I believe the filter is kind of stuck but I'm still trying to find a replacement filter for the aircon. So just when I thought everything was going fine, I broke the RB20 gearbox. So this car had an RB25 engine and an RB20 gearbox. As you probably already know if you've been following uh, the channel. So what happened was the bushing for the shifter actually dropped into the gearbox when they were filling the oil. Because I did do an oil change. I know that was quite a retarded decision but I decided to do the oil change and that actually messed up the whole thing. It was like a series of unfortunate events. So the bushing actually dropped in because the bushing broke, the plastic bushing broke, dropped into the gearbox. So when they filled the oil, it was really inside there. And when I took it for a drive after they did it, uh, it went inside the gears and started shredding the teeth. So teeth broke from the second gear, I believe. And then the second gear teeth went into other gears and broke the other gears teeth. So it, just to make matters worse, when I drove it in the morning to the back to the workshop, there was this whole lot of clanging and the car was basically almost unable to drive. So a good thing is that I actually managed to make it to the workshop and I will show you actually clips on how they are installing the gearbox and also what was broken uh, right now. So you can actually get an idea on what happened and the whole process. Of course, I did do a separate video on that, but it is way too long. So I just want to make it something very short. So you guys can just have a quick update of what I've done. So gearbox was something that cost a pretty penny. Uh, you know, the market these days for the RB25 gearbox is so, so rare. It's so hard to find an RB25 gearbox that is in good condition. But uh, good thing is that I managed to find one. The first RB25 gearbox that actually was installed in this car uh, was giving some problems. So a good thing that I sent to a reliable shop like Dazzle. So they managed to get a replacement RB25 gearbox. The pricing of the gearbox depends on the market. Right now, the price ranges from 6,000 to 8,000, 9,000 ringgit. Uh, depends on the condition of course and also where you buy it from and also I had to do the long shaft which costs around 300 ringgit to get it welded and cut and thought of that the shop actually updated me and said I had to also do the small little pin for the manual conversion because this car was originally an auto RB25 setup so they went from RB20 engine to RB25 engine and then swapped out the transmission to a manual RB20 transmission. I don't know what was going on there. Why can't they just uh, change it directly to RB25 transmission? Anyways, I had to do the flywheel. Uh, I had to do the clutch. I had to do the small little pin. I'm not sure what the pin is, but anyway, the pin, I had to change all the oil seals because the gearbox was actually leaking. So the oil seals had to be changed. The flywheel had to have the right dimensions, the right diameter, in fact. It was short of like 0.5 inches i believe uh it was slightly shorter so it wasn't running the right spec so anyways uh i got everything sorted out uh it almost cost around eight to nine thousand ringgit just to get it done besides the coolant uh, external reservoir which i changed to a proton persona reservoir is a modified version uh, i did the samco hoses and stuff like that so now let me bring you guys out and show you what i've done to the external part of this car so i did do some daylight running lamps for the front. You can see these two right here. So they are daylight running lamps and also signal lamps. So I did connect them to the side light so they would turn on along with the fog lamps. So they all like join together and also the signal light. 
Okay, so that's about it for the update. So far, I've spent around 10 grand uh, for all this stuff that I did, excluding those minor stuff. Uh, I bet like if you budget 11K in total, excluding the front absorbers because I'm not sure what to do with them right now. But assuming that I do manage to service them, uh, they will cost around like 250 ringgit around that so it's not too bad i mean overall for the, the age of this car uh i think the maintenance it is pretty okay i mean the gearbox the good thing is uh you know change to the right spec that matches the engine so it's rb25 gearbox with rb25 engine which is perfect of course the ratio is longer so uh it's not as fun uh, but you do get to drag the gears because of the longer ratio as compared to the rb20 which was like short ratio so you know you have to shift it quicker but it was fun like you know you can like launch the car and stuff like that but you can't really do it with the rb25 gearbox of course uh you can do it but you do have to do some mods to the engine like bigger turbo upgrade you can do uh stand alone um you can do quite a lot of things with this engine this engine is pretty versatile uh it's such a sad thing that Nissan is no longer making engines like this. I would have loved to seen like new versions, new updated versions of this engine because the sound is absolutely phenomenal. I'm still really enjoying driving this car. It's really fun. It attracts a lot of attention. The car guys come and we have like a car meet, impromptu car meet. So it's pretty fun. I've uh, met many new people uh, through driving this car. Of course, people who are interested in like uh, retro JDM cars just like this. So yeah, there's a very big community in, in Malaysia, in fact that uh, people who like gather together and just like enjoy uh, modifying driving JDM cars just like this um, last but not least uh, something which I forgot to mention is I did upgrade the shifter the knob at least so you can see right here this is actually a carbon fiber gear shift knob which I bought off Shopee I believe so this is pretty nice uh, much better than the trash one which actually I was using before I'm not sure whether you guys saw that uh, it was very heavy it was like slipping off but this is really really nice and sturdy I can like feel the gear changes really really nice really really nice uh, this didn't cost that much I believe this cost around 50 ringgit 50 to 80 ringgit so I mean for gear knob yeah it's really nice and it comes with adapter so this is really a good addition it looks good I mean Yes, this car condition is not perfect. But to have something like this and you can hold while driving and change the gear smoothly is perfect. So I do recommend getting this if you are into manual gearboxes. Okay, so that's all for the update on the Cifero. I will definitely be doing some other things. Uh, if I got a budget to do so, I would definitely want to go for a bigger turbo, go for a standalone, uh, probably do the headers. Uh, do we do the exhaust because I believe this exhaust is uh, too drony in the car I would like to go for something like a Fujisubo or something like that uh, so that would be something in the future so those things are pretty hard to get in Malaysia but of course it's even harder to get in the US if you guys are watching from the US but Malaysia I think the market for uh, JDM cars just like this it is pretty good because you are still able to get like half cart second hand parts and they are pretty Good condition as well quite mint condition of course second hand you can't get a perfect item but it is uh, pretty worth it for the price okay so this has been a very quick update on the Cifero uh, if I did miss out anything I'll leave it in the description below but anyways this is what are the major things that I've done and so far the major cost at least for maintaining this car so thanks guys for watching and I hope you guys like this video if you did like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and I'll see you guys in the next video.